a better new year, blessed new year in 2021. Uh, yeah, I prefer that we meet in person, pero ngayon, a zoom zoom na lang tayo. So, so right now, I'll begin with the presentation. Um, there's a shortened version of this that you heard during the loans uh, a few weeks ago. But uh, we'll have more details about Copa Prime today. So let me share my screen. Okay, hopefully the slide is clear. So we are talking about Copa Prime today. Ano ba itong Copa Prime and what does it do? Okay. So I have to mention this disclaimer. Uh, this is required for Philippines that Copa Prime, we want to emphasize that Copa Prime is not a drug and should not be used as drug to any illness. Also in this talk, I'm not referring or not implying to this talk about mental illness, disorders, or other conditions. So, you know, uh, Copa Prime has been designed to support cognitive health. And cognitive health is closely intertwined with mental health. And according to World Health Organization, that famous doctor called Dr. Brock Chisholm, without mental health, there can be no true physical health, which is true. You might be physically fit, but if your mental health is not good, then health is not complete, right? You, you probably will end up in danger. So they are closely intertwined because we know that mental health enables us to perform our daily chores uh, more efficiently every day, okay? With good mental health, we're able to cope with stress. What else? You know, with good mental health, we're able to communicate well, we are able to uh, serve our communities better, okay? So we have to take care of it. And as I said, you know, mental health is closely uh, connected to cognitive health. Actually, cognitive health falls under the umbrella of, of mental health and vice versa, they, they affect each other, okay? So, you know, every year we celebrate Mental Health Day and last October was very memorable, especially here uh, we had a celebration about Mental Health Day last October because of the recent events of crisis, pandemic, and so many other crises. Uh, many have been affected. So there has been a push to in invest in your mental health. Okay. So we see here a, a person that with the brain on top, you know, literally the brain is on top of most of the other body organs, literally, right? And, um, you know, what do we have in USANA? You'll see later on, we have uh, the COPA Prime Plus that answers some or supports some of the needs of the, the brain. So really the brain is a complicated uh, structure that uh, it has a lot of connections in there, as we will see later on. You know, there are a lot of chemicals in there that need to function well so that uh, your brain will be uh, at its uh, optimal, okay? Um, Okay, especially nowadays, we need to focus. There are so many distractions, right? You have your laptop, you have your phone, you have your Snapchat, Facebook, so many, so many things that distract us. And there are times when we need to focus on, on what we're doing. 
And uh, not only do we need to focus, we also need to respond rapidly. And in order to respond rapidly, you have to have some support, you know? Focus to do what you're doing and focus to answer questions and focus to, to uh, implement whatever you need to do in your daily work or in school or uh, in the office, okay? So <clears throat> we know that there are a lot of uh, external stimuli out there, but even without external stimuli, we know that the brain is a complex structure, okay? <clears throat> so the human brain has a lot of connections, a lot of neurons and and you know in this photo you can see those two like mushroom like structures with lightning in between those are not lightning of course it's just a representation but these are called synapses in the brain you pro you have learned this in your biology anatomy physiology that we have synapses that are responsible to initiate uh, the process of neuron-to-neuron uh, -neuron communication, okay? And, and one of the chemicals that we need, okay? Sorry, one of the chemicals that we need is uh, the so-called DDNF. And, um, you know, the, this photo is talking about, you know, sometimes we forget a lot of things. Where are my keys? Where are my eyeglasses? You know, where are my um, purse, my wallet? Sometimes, you know, we even forget what to say. Like right now, if I don't have my, my outline, I probably will forget. My outline is the slides, <clears throat> okay? And uh, you know, but it's not all bad. You see this, uh, this, this is like a cross section of the brain. And uh, it's, it shows here the many connections, the neurocircuitry says, neurocircuitry. And uh, the brain has actually developed its capacity to, to repair its neurocircuitry. And this is called neuroplasticity. Okay. In the past, we learned that, oh, the brain, if it's damaged, it won't be repaired anymore. But with the progress of science, we realize we are learning now that the brain has neuroplasticity. Okay. What is neuroplasticity? The ability of the brain to create its own neurocircuitry, okay? So this is one example of the chemicals I was talking about. This is the brain-derived neurotrophic factor, you know? The BDNF is important in cell signaling. It's a cell signaling mo molecule that in the brain, it acts as a growth factor for the new synapses. So it sort of repairs, you know, a growth factor of the synapses. So remember that synapses enables us, the neurons inside our brain to communicate well. So BDNF is one of those chemicals. There are many more, but we're, I, we are focusing on this one. So, over time, this BDNF decreases with age, okay? We all know that, that as you grow older, you become forgetful most of the time or sometimes, and that is because BDNF decreases with age. And uh, some of the ways to combat decrease with uh, aging, combat decrease of BDNF with aging is exercise, for example, uh, repeat, repeated activities, you know, what else, caloric restriction, eating healthy, okay, but what else? What do we have in Nisana? 
that we have been developing for years. You know, the development of this product I will present uh, has taken many years from conceptualization, research, uh, design, prototyping, and eventually release of the product. It took this product, I think it took almost four to five years just to study and produce. Okay. So this is the one that the scientists in USANA have produced to support cognitive health. Okay. Again, um, I iterate right here, it's not a drug and should not be used as a drug to any illness. We are not claiming anything that you, it will treat any cognitive disorder or mental disorder, okay? But it supports somehow cognitive health. So what makes it work, you know? Um, well, let's look at the ingredients to see what makes it work. For example, uh, one ingredient is the American ginseng, or this scientific name is the Panax, Panax tinquefolius. There are so many kinds of Panax, okay? Like Panax ginseng, there are so many kinds, but this one is specifically is called Panax tinquefolius or American ginseng. So it's a natural ingredient. And uh, of course we have chose this this ingredient because it supports the healthy function of brain cells. It has been shown by uh, single studies by other scientists. So it helps with uh, speed and accuracy of information processing. So what do they use here? You see it's the root. The root part is where they get the ingredients for this product. Okay. You can see here acetylcholine, you learned in your biology that acetylcholine has a role in formation of short and long-term memory, okay? It also has antioxidant properties and these antioxidant properties help to maintain the healthy function of brain cells. So of course there are other antioxidants, you know, like the one you see in cell essentials, you know, they have antioxidants there. But this American ginseng has been shown that it helps to maintain the healthy function of brain cells and nerve cells. Okay. Okay, the next one is Bacopa monieri. Uh, it has been used in Ayurveda medicine for many, a long time, you know. And it's called Brahmi in some parts of the world. It's also a natural ingredient. It targets cell receptors that play a role in cognition. Again, it also helps with memory formation and information processing. Some of you may know this. Some, of, some, of, some people uh, mix this into their salad, okay? I've seen this in, in the province in Philippines too. But of course, what we use is the extra. We use the whole herb extra, okay? It also supports the production of acetylcholine for normal cell signaling. You see this cell signaling is very important. And um, if you remember the intelligence technology, this Bacopa Munieri combined with the Full coffee fruit extract is uh, part of the intelligence technology. You see, you're probably familiar. You see the draw the photo here. We we use this in salad before. Put tomato, onion, bagoong, and it tastes good. Okay, the next one is coffea arabica fruit. They use the whole fruit. So the extract is called full uh, coffee fruit extract, also a natural ingredient. You see here it's high in chlorogenic acid, which is a source of polyphenols. 
you know, polyphenols are antioxidants. They help support alertness, mental clarity, and focus by supplying antioxidants. It also has neuroprotective properties, okay? So this has been shown by research, you know, laboratory animal research and uh, in vitro research, uh, human clinical research uh, done in uh, students or older adults, okay? You see, you're familiar with this, cafe, okay? It's shown by uh, research to support alertness, clarity, and focus. It's low in caffeine. I'm receiving a lot of questions from you and other countries. Caffeine is very low. You know, like it's only 0.7%, okay? For every, for example, a 100 milligram cup of coffee that you drink every day in your homes, imagine 0.7% of that is the caffeine content. It's very low, 0.7%, okay? Some of the coffee that you drink at home probably ranges from, I'm talking about the regular coffee, from 100 to 400 milligrams of caffeine. So this one is the coffee fruit extract in the processing has removed most of the caffeine. So it's very low. That's why it doesn't even appear on the label because it's very low. Okay, I'm just showing here examples of, you know, uh, researchers have been done on the single ingredients like this American ginseng, uh, store, uh, a research was done in Australia, but only a single. Bacopa also studied a uh, single coffee extract, studied alone. But uh, in our case, this is the first time that we studied the combination of the bacopa extract, coffee extract, and the American ginseng extract. This is the first time that three ingredients have been studied and published in a peer-reviewed journal. So as you can see here, hopefully you can see in this slide, two tablets of uh, this Copa Prime Plus has 300 milligrams of Bacopa. The coffee extract, Cafe Arabica, is 100 milligrams per two tablets. American ginseng extract using the root is also 100 milligrams per two tablets. So you take two per day in adults, okay? Well, what, what is adult? Well, the legal, legal uh, age that adult in Philippines, US, you know, commonly say is 18 and above. So, Saying that, um, don't ask if, can I give this to my kindergarten kid or to my uh, elementary kid, you know. For now, you just give them the vitamins for children because they're not, they're not yet at the stage where they have decreased BDNF. They have young brains, so they're not susceptible yet to decreasing BDNF that we, we showed earlier. So this is mainly for adults. And uh, the dose that we have, 300, 100, 100, are the ones that have been shown by clinical research to be effective, minimum, okay? But the combination of this as shown by the researchers that we work with, they are uh, proposing that probably there's a synergistic effect because you will see later on that even in one hour, they saw effects. Okay, with regards to safety, we have a product safety monitoring of all global markets in USANA. And since launch in 2019, 
the Copa Prime showed excellent safety record. Out of millions of bottles sold and thousands and thousands of users, we can only count four complaints and they're insignificant, you know. That's globally. And it was also shown by clinical trial to be safe. Okay, so this is the clinical trial that we did in Australia. It was published in Nutritional Neuroscience. And we studied the acute effects of combined Bacopa, American ginseng, and whole coffee fruit extracts on working memory and cerebral hemodynamic response, meaning to say the flow of blood in the brain, of the prefrontal cortex, meaning the front of the brain. So it's a double-blind placebo-controlled study, and the results were really, really great with this study. So about 40 adults were included in this study, okay? And oh, it says here acute effects. What does it mean acute effects? We measured the effect, uh, for example, within 45 minutes. And it showed that the, those who took the active part of the copper prime had better responses than the ones in the placebo. And uh, this is coming soon. We are doing in 2021. I think it will start with this January because we have done the acute uh, testing of the Copa Prime Plus. Now we are testing the long-term chronic use of the uh, Copa Prime Plus. Okay. So uh, let's discuss in the acute study, uh, we use a more elaborate machine, although this is the concept. We use a func uh, functional near infrared spectroscopy to measure the activity of the brain. You know, there were wires connected to the brain, to the skull, I mean, not to the brain directly, but it's connected to the head and the brain recorded was recorded by this machine, the functional near infrared spectroscopy, which is similar to the MRI that you know when you go to the hospitals, but uh, this is more portable, the one that we use. And uh, this is what we saw. Aside from the testing, you know, they did a lot of uh, battery testing, you know, NBAC tests, uh, countdown, etc. But the, mo the most interesting thing is the, this visualization. Like you see here, the active versus placebo. So the, the brain activity was measured before and uh, after, both for the active and the placebo. So you see here in the active, the one on the, on the left, my left, you see the colors pre here versus the color post. You, the red and the red colors there, okay? And the blue ones. And then the placebo, you also have the pre measuring the hemodynamic perfusion of the prefrontal cortex, and then the post, okay? So what does it show? Look at the three back. At the three back row, you see that the placebo treatment has more color during the tests. You know, they were given difficult testing, mental tests. It has a lot of color compared to the active treatment, okay? So what does it mean? 
it means that it was working harder, the one in the placebo, in order to achieve the effect that we like compared to the active. You see the active is, they're not too much color. Meaning to say, uh, it was not working as hard as the placebo in achieving the results that we wanted in terms of mental alertness, focus, memory, and the active performed better than the placebo, considering that the activity is less, okay? That's how you will interpret this brain growing here. You see, again, the placebo post, too much activity going on, working too hard. But the one who took Copa Prime, easy, easy lang, but still got the great results in the test. So uh, I want to say before I go there is uh, really the ingredients that we had chosen, uh, when, we cho when these ingredients were chosen, they were chosen according to the history of the ingredient. I mean, does it really uh, affect cognition? That's one criteria. The second criteria is the quality and purity of the ingredients that we use to combine, combine them together. And uh, although before the clinical trial, there were um, anecdotal reports that they took Papa Prime and it supported their working memory, it supported their uh, cognitive function, it was confirmed by the clinical trial that we have. Okay. So again, this is the, the study that we made with Copa Prime Plus is the very first study as far as we know. If you research in PubMed, you know, in the, you probably know PubMed. PubMed is a repository of many uh, clinical researchers in the world. And if you go in there, this is our study that we work with Central Queensland University in Australia is the very first combination of bacopa and coffee fruit extract and American ginseng. Okay, as I said earlier, there were many studies that uh, were done on single ingredients, just bacopa, just ginseng, or just coffee fruit extract. There were a combination of bacopa and ginseng but this is the first one that showed result with three ingredients in an active, acute, acute study. Okay? And, and we saw results after 45 minutes. So, okay, we know, uh, now that we know that uh, Copa Prime Plus helps support cognitive health, you know, it's not only for elderly, you know, it's not only for older adults, but we have this uh, uh, working people that are younger than 60. Then we have the 18 student, college students, 18 years old that are, you know, preparing for the exams. And uh, I hear a lot of testimonials about um, their cognitive, um, support or improvement. Well, of course, those are testimonials and we really cannot use them to substantiate. We use our clinical trials. So in short, you know, USANA Copa Prime Plus helps support focus. It has been shown in the research, information processing, it supports uh, mental performance and management of day-to-day -day tasks, okay? There are many more claims, you know, I don't know if you have access to claims in your claims library in Philippines, but there are a few claims that you can say, but this is a summary of them, that it's uh, helping, in short, it's helping cognitive health. So 
we we think you know we think that you will like this product and I know that some of you have already tried it and you know different individuals have different response it may take time for people to notice you know some notice immediately some notice after a few weeks some after a month you know and uh, as I said we monitor the safety of this product but you know not all products may agree as with any products so essentials vision x vitamin c there's always a person who may not agree with the product you know as with any food you know some people they like banana but it doesn't agree with them same here so the next thing you do now that you know a little bit about Topo Prime Plus is, you know, you should, if you have not done yet, you should try to experience the, the product, you know, and then, because it's hard to uh, introduce to anybody unless you have experienced it. So experience it and introduce it to your friends and family, and then go down the list and see what, what who are the contacts that you think can, can benefit with the Topo Prime Plus, okay? So thank you for listening. Um, I want to say too that when you want to ask questions, send it to our email or to ask the scientists. But you know, sometimes I receive so many emails globally, so it, I may find it may take me time to find your email. Sometimes it gets buried in there. You send email today, I don't see it today. After three days, thousand emails more come. So resend it you know if you don't get any response don't send it on facebook send it to email okay that's my request okay so i finished it officially the presentation but i want to so finish top of prime right so i want to say something that's uh, a food for thought here so we are shaped by our thoughts. We become what we think. When the mind is pure, joy follows like a shadow that never leaves. So in my experience, this is true. You become what you think. If you think you are successful, you will succeed. If you think you won't, you will not succeed, right? If you think happy, you become joyful too. So that's my thought for the day for you all okay okay thank you and we can have